Good morning, friends and family. I wanted to um, share something that's just on my heart today. It's been quite a while since I've made a video like this, and you know, it's one of those things that I feel like I should communicate more on it because whether or not you or I or anyone realizes it, uh, there are people out there who look up to you. There are people out there who look to you for guidance, even in a small way. And I think it is a slap in the face of the wonderful gifts that life gives us if we don't share meaning. Today I wanted to talk about not giving up. And it's not in the context of, you know, quitting your job or this and that when it gets stressful. I'm talking about life. I had some very good friends of mine who lost two loved ones recently, and it's really what inspired me to share this message. I was tucking my daughter in. She's 10 months old, 11 months old, little baby girl, loves me more than anything. And I just put her to sleep, and I was looking at her sleep there, and I was sitting and thinking about, as a young man, I struggled with suicidal thoughts often and there were even times where I sat alone looking at a razor and just wishing I had the strength to end it all and you know now at this point in my life looking back it's horrific to think that a bad situation would have made me give up the most beautiful thing and I feel like the me from the future was screaming back, Jesse, don't do it, Jesse, don't do it, and I couldn't. And unfortunately, some people go through with it, and, you know, they give up the spark of life, and it not only leaves a hole where they left, it leaves a hole with other people who look up to you. And I'm saying this in the most loving way. I, I hope my friends get through this situation but any other observers watching don't make the situation worse by taking your own life and hang in there I was looking at her and I was thinking about how hang on buddy I was sitting there and I was thinking about how if I had taken my life as a young man her beautiful existence wouldn't be here she wouldn't exist this man wouldn't exist. My son sitting in there wouldn't exist. My daughter at school wouldn't exist. And I don't care if even one person sees this and it helps them. It will be so worth it. But looking at her, it just tore my heart up for the family. Um, and, you know, I feel their pain. So I don't know who this is for. But I know everything happens for a reason, and please don't give up today. Please. It will get better. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. But there's going to be a point in your life where you look back, and you can't even believe that you almost gave up this beautiful existence. I'm thankful for God for everything he's done for me, and I hope you can open your heart up to him and accept his gifts for you too. You'll never be able to appreciate the good unless you have bad sometimes. So we need to keep my friend's family in our thoughts and prayers. We need to keep our own thoughts in check. And we need to love one another. We might be on this earth for 80 to 100 years if we're lucky. And I don't know about you, but I do not want to spend that short amount of time hating and being hated stealing and lying and just spitting in the face of the beautiful life that we do have that being said thank you for tuning in i really appreciate you and even if it was one person that took this message and made it through something they're going through then it was worth it i love you god and i'm thankful for everything you've given me i hope you all have a wonderful evening